Deep in the heart of New Mexico's White Sands National Park lies one of the most incredible archaeological discoveries in America, ancient human footprints, perfectly preserved in the earth. They tell a story that rewrites the history of human migration into the continent. For years, scientists have debated their age, but new analysis now suggests these are the oldest known human footprints in the Americas, pushing back the timeline of human presence on this continent by thousands of years. The story begins in 2009 when park rangers at White Sands National Park noticed unusual impressions near Alkali Flat, a dry lake bed within the park. At first, they thought these might be animal tracks, perhaps left by woolly mammoths, giant sloths, or saber-toothed cats that roam the Ice Age landscape. But as researchers studied these impressions, they realized they were looking at human footprints. They captured the steps of men, women, and children who walked this land thousands of years before the pyramids of Egypt were built, or the great cities of Mesopotamia rose. To understand the significance of these footprints, we need to travel back to the world they were made in. Around 23,000 years ago, Earth was locked in the last glacial maximum, the coldest chapter of the last ice age. Massive ice sheets covered much of North America, Europe, and Asia, and sea levels were about 400 feet lower than today, exposing vast stretches of land now underwater. Scientists once theorized that the ancestors of today's Native Americans reached North America by walking across a land bridge, stretching between Siberia and Alaska, a region often called Beringia. But new evidence suggests that people may have arrived by boat, reaching ancient coastlines along the Pacific and settling on new territories. These coastal routes, sometimes called the Kelp Highway, offered a reliable food source, fish, seals, and seaweed, and a faster way to reach southern regions like White Sands. Whether by land or sea, these journeys brought humans to a continent teeming with life and opportunity. The area around White Sands wasn't a frozen tundra during this time. It was a lush wetland fed by the ancient Lake Otero, a massive paleo lake that existed during the Ice Age. This lake attracted camels, dire wolves, and giant armadillos, while grasses and coniferous trees dotted the landscape. And among them leaving their mark in the mud were humans, hunter-gatherers who had ventured into this new world, creating the oldest known footprints in the Americas. In 2021, an initial study was published by a team led by researchers at the University of Arizona. They used radiocarbon dating, a technique that measures how much carbon-14 remains in organic material like plants or animals. Since carbon-14 decays at a steady rate, scientists can calculate how old something is by checking how much is left. At White Sands, the team dated tiny seeds of ditch grass, a water plant called Rupia serosa, found in the same layers as the footprints. These seeds suggested the tracks were between 21,000 and 23,000 years old. This finding raised eyebrows. Some scientists questioned the dates because ditch grass grows underwater, and water can contain old carbon from ancient rocks or sediments. This old carbon can make plants appear older than they are when radiocarbon dated, like using a clock that's been ticking longer than the event you're timing. In 2022, a rebuttal argued that the ditch grass dates might be skewed, casting doubt on the 23,000-year-old claim. The debate was on, and the White Sands footprints became one of the most hotly discussed discoveries in archaeology. Undeterred, the White Sands team sought more evidence. In 2023, they used a different method called optically stimulated luminescence, or OSL, which measures when minerals like quartz or feldspar in the sediment were last exposed to sunlight. Since the footprints were pressed into mud that was later buried, OSL revealed when that mud was still on the surface. They also radiocarbon dated ancient conifer pollen, which are tiny grains from pine trees found in the footprint layers. Unlike ditch grass, uh, pollen comes from land plants that absorb carbon from the atmosphere, avoiding the old carbon problem. Both methods confirm the footprints were 21,000 to 23,000 years old. But a new study published in June 2025 aims to finally settle the debate. The same researchers from the University of Arizona used radiocarbon dated core samples, which are long tubes of earth drilled from the site, focusing on the mud itself, along with more pollen and seeds. These samples were analyzed in independent labs and gave dates ranging from 20,700 to 22,400 years ago, aligning with earlier findings. In total, the team has 55 radiocarbon dates for mud, seeds, and pollen, all pointing to the same time frame. As the researchers put it, it would be serendipity in the extreme to have all these dates giving you a consistent picture that's in error. The odds of all these tests being wrong are astronomically low. So who were these people leaving their footprints in the white sands mud? They were likely hunter-gatherers, nomadic bands of perhaps 20 or 30 people following game and gathering plants to survive. The footprints offer clues. Some are small, suggesting children scampered through the mud. Others are larger, 
perhaps from adults carrying loads or stalking prey. One set even shows a person slipping in the mud. Their presence raises a profound question. How did they reach here? Scientists are still debating. The Bering Land Bridge, opened between 30,000 and 15,000 years ago, could have been a key pathway. Early migrants, descendants of Asian populations, may have crossed this bridge, perhaps following migrating herds or seeking new hunting grounds. Some might have trekked inland, finding gaps in the ice sheets that covered much of North America. Others, as recent evidence suggests, traveled by boat along the Pacific coast using simple watercraft to explore kelp-rich waters teeming with marine life. These coastal routes offered a reliable food source and a faster way to reach southern regions like White Sands. Whether by foot across Beringia or by boat along the shores, these early Americans demonstrated remarkable adaptability, reaching what is now New Mexico by 23,000 years ago, leaving the oldest known footprints in the Americas. For decades, archaeologists believed the first Americans were the Clovis people, who appeared around 13,000 years ago, known for their distinctive fluted spear points. But the White Sands footprints, along with other discoveries, like 15,500-year-old tools in Texas and 30,000-year-old sites in Mexico, suggest humans arrived much earlier. However, some scientists remain cautious. They argue that the radiocarbon dates, even from mud, might still be affected by old carbon in the lake bed. Others point to a different puzzle. Where are the tools, campsites, or other artifacts from these Ice Age people? Clovis sites yield spear points and butchered bones, but at White Sands, the footprints stand alone. Vance Holliday, who is part of the research team that published this study, argues that hunter-gatherers were careful with their tools. Far from stone sources, they wouldn't casually leave valuable items in a muddy wetland. He explains that these people live by their artifacts, and they're not just randomly dropping them. It's a logical argument, but the absence of artifacts keeps the debate alive. The discovery is part of a broader revolution in archaeology. Across the Americas, new sites push back the timeline of human arrival. In Chile, the Monteverde site, dated to 14,500 years ago, shows evidence of seaweed use and wooden structures. In Idaho, the Cooper's Ferry site holds 16,000-year-old tools. In Mexico, the Chiquihut Cave may contain 30,000-year-old stone flakes, though no footprints have been found there. Together, these findings paint a picture of a continent alive with human activity far earlier than once thought. The White Sands footprints are a cornerstone of this new narrative. The debate, no doubt, will continue. But with each converging line of evidence, the case for a human presence in the Americas 23,000 years ago grows undeniably stronger. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. What do you think about the possibility of humans reaching the Americas over 23,000 years ago? And how do you think they got there? Boats or the land bridge? Let us know your thoughts and stay tuned for more revelations from the past. Farewell.